we have for you today a story adapted from a chinese fairy tale and it's inspired by none other than the cat in the hat it's called why dog and cat are enemies once upon a time i wrote a silly line so that it would rhyme with once upon a time and if you get the pun the tale is well begun it's the story of two siblings called Sam and Susie Billings. When mom was out of sight, they always picked a fight for a toy or a book or a kite. They would sometimes scratch or bite. Their helpless mom would say, "Only animals behave this way. You two little brats fight like dogs and cats." So many moons ago, dear children, do you know even cats and dogs were pals? If one rightly recalls, it was once upon a time, inside this once upon a time, there was a man and his wife who led a happy life. They had two pets. I know you all can guess, a cat and a dog. Oh yes. They also owned a ring of gold. Though to them it wasn't told that their luck was in the ring. So they did the silliest thing and acted oh so dumb and sold it for a paltry sum. No sooner was the ring gone that their bad time was on. The couple grew poorer and poorer. and the cat and dog starved in their fur they argued growled and purred how can things be bettered for their masters they did feel who had nothing for the next meal the dog had a different idea to me it's plain and clear they must have the ring again to ease the trouble and pain I am sure the ring has magic and it will do the trick. The cat said, "Hmm, maybe you're correct, but doggy dear, can you recollect? The ring is with a difficult man. It's locked in the chest of Lee Tuff Fan. His house is huge." The walls are high and that iron gate Kitty said with a sigh Then dear cat go catch a mouse and take it to Lee Fan's house Once you crawled in through the gate let the mouse do the rest you just wait You know what the mouse does best it's to gnaw a hole in the chest Do I really have to spell the rest? So the cat got a mouse and headed to the house. But they came upon a river. Now the dog was the swimmer. So the mouse upon the cat and the cat upon the dog, they swam across the river just like a log. They sneaked in through the gate. The dog and cat had to wait. The mouse gnawed a hole in the chest. His teeth were sharp. He did his best. He knew he had to bring the lucky gold ring to the cat who was waiting, waiting for the mouse at the gate of the house. And with the ring they together reached the dog near the river. They were a happy happy team as they swam across and downstream keen to end their misery and all their distress Now the dog could only run but the cat's return was fun while he ran through the streets and all the parking lots the cat jumped through the trees and went over rooftops Cunning feline reached long before the canine and as she gave the man and his wife the lucky charm of their life they hugged and kissed the feline as if she were divine 
Oh, what a splendid creature! We will love, thank and feed her. So the cat became a darling. And it is another thing that the dog received a beating for being a lazy, good for nothing. So now the cat is warm and snug on the living room rug. She dozes by the fireplace whilst the dog sits outside living a life of disgrace. And ever since that day, dog and cat stay away and the tensions never cease between these two sworn enemies. And in every woof and meow, you can sense it somehow. I hope now you know why Sam and Susie, the two spoiled brats, fight like dogs and cats. <laughs>